Welcome back. I took a little bit of a break. Uh, too much schoolwork. That's how it is. But um, behind me, uh, somewhere over there, I have 26 pairs of shoes. So I guess I can just like show them to you. So I'm going to start with my boots. And um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first off, we have Doc Martens. Obviously, I feel like everyone owns a pair of these at some point, or has, or will own a pair of these. I got these at Nordstrom Rack for like 80 bucks, I think, in DC a few years ago. I wear them all the time. They're kind of like my beater boots. They have like scrapes all over them. But um, yeah, this is just like a classic pair. Everyone should own a pair of Doc Martens. I honestly think that these are like one of like the lower quality ones because I found them at Nordstrom Rack, but they work, they work, and um, I use them all the time. Super, they go with every outfit. Next, we have one of my recent pickups, which are these 1999 fall winter Prada boots. Um, these are super, super heavy, super thick. They have this like, oh, they're so dirty, oh my God. But they have um, just a really nice, like thick sole on them. The leather is super thick and padded. I keep on saying the word thick, I don't even know. These are just like your like, hmm, what is the word for that? I can't think of the word for the aesthetic, but they really go with these kinds of glasses. Steampunk, boom, there we go. Super steampunky, stomp on people, crazy thick boots. Love these, love the straps, uh, just great, great, great. Next up we have, oh my God, I keep on turning. We have these Paperboy boots that are from Issey Miyake. I also got these secondhand, really, really cheap, I think for only like 50 or 60 bucks. The leather is super soft. They have these really cool details all over them with stitching. Um, the zipper on the side has this yellow pull tab, which is really, really nice. Super comfortable. And they came with um, heel, um, heel taps, heel taps. Really, really cool. Love them. Uh, and yeah, I don't know, just nice boots. Moving away from that, we start to go into my Chelsea boots. So these are my uh, common projects, Chelsea boots. As you can tell, they need to be washed so bad. I wore leather pants with these and they got like all, I don't know, all like the, the black dye like stained the crap out of them. So as you can tell, like all around, not, not looking great, not in great condition. Bottom, definitely really worn. I shouldn't really be touching these with my hands that much, but I think they look good. Um, they're just like a classic. And uh, yeah, I don't know. These are kind of just like some like beater Chelsea boots. These I got these a while ago when I thought when they were like in style, you know, when Kanye West was wearing them, but really, really nice. Uh, next up is probably another one of my most like worn wintery uh, shoes, which are these Hugo Boss uh, Chelsea boots. They have just this beautiful shape to them. Uh, which I love. They have a hard bottom here and rubber pad um, at the front. They are also have uh, red contrast stitching on the bottom, which I think looks really nice. They're super comfortable. They have a leather sole so that it molds to your foot. Um, I keep them with shoe trees in usually to maintain that shape. H huge pro tip, if you guys want to maintain the uh, shape and uh, the quality of the leather on any of your leather shoes, please, please, please use shoe trees and um, condition your leather, you know, at least once in a while to make sure it doesn't start like cracking. Um, yeah, just love these great shape. Really, really nice. And I got them on like super sale at like Bloomingdale's online. Lastly, for the boots that I have here in Chicago, we have these, I got these, um, they're from this like random brand called Guccinari. <laughs> um, but I got these in Wicker Park at, um, USA Vintage or something like that in Chicago for like 40 bucks again. I think they're so cool. I love the point on them. I love this like Cuban heel that they got that gives me a little bit extra height. Um, they have like these like purple interior, purple interiors as you can tell. Um, they look really, really good on foot. And yeah, these are, these are just great. Moving on from boots, we have loafers. This is my first pair of loafers that I 
Okay, this is like my first pair of like regular loafers that I got. These are penny loafers from Sperry Gold Cup. Got these on Amazon because I had an Amazon gift card at the time actually. Sperry makes like shockingly good products for like pretty cheap. Um, the leather on these, as you can tell, I've worn them a lot. Um, starting to starting to crack and bend a little bit, but I do keep shoe trees in them when I can. I think they are Goodyear welted, which is like really surprising because I think I've maybe paid like $50 for these. Um, just really classic. Uh, pro tip when you're getting Sperry's, make sure to go, Sperry's, when you're getting loafers, try to go at least like a half size or maybe even a full size down because unlike dress shoes where you can tie them up, loafers are meant to be worn like pretty casually and you want to make sure that they're snug on your feet and not like consistently rubbing against your heels or else you get blisters all over your feet. I'm not going to show you my feet. Okay, next up is another pair of shoes that I wear all the time. I actually don't wear these all the time. That's a complete lie. I wear these for the videos all the time. They are these Balenciaga shoes, uh, loafers. They are a maroon, like croc embossed leather. Um, they have hard bottoms, which I love, and um, a leather insole. Super, super nice. Love the gold detail, like the old Balenciaga script. Um, additionally, I don't even know. These are just like some like really, really, really nice quality, good looking shoes in the in the sun. As you can tell, they just have like this like really nice gleam and like shine to them. And um, I think they were from like Demna Gavsalia's 2018 spring summer collection um, for Balenciaga in Paris. And yeah, so that's these. Next up is my most recent pickup, which are these Prada loafers. Um, I got these super secondhand. Um, Okay, super secondhand. Um, they were already like creased up, um, but I think I'm gonna try to bring these to a cobbler sometime soon. Huge tip, always use your cobbler if you can. Um, they will be able to like resole any good shoes and if you like the uppers, like I really, really like these. I'm gonna try to condition them consistently to get them back into like a little bit better shape, but they are definitely a little bit, a little bit messed up on the side. But for $40 shipped, honestly a great deal. Um, they even say like Prada right here. I love the color on the leather. They're super comfortable um, And yeah, these are just like Prada loafers I feel like this is like like an iconic iconics uh, loafer brand and silhouette and I got them for like I think $40 shipped so huge These are some of my favorite shoes that I own. They are Jean-Baptiste Valley um, X H&M collaboration I can't tell if these were from just a few years ago or from their collaboration that they did in 2013, but these are absolutely incredible. They have these studs all the way around the toes and right here on the, like, it's not the tongue, but I don't know. They just have studs, which I really, really like. And there's these huge creeper soles. I feel like, I don't even know, these are like goth girl energy. Like, these are just like some like incredible, incredible shoes. They have the, like, uh, gum bottoms or not gum bottoms, like, like, um, Crepe, like crepe bottoms, I think they're called. Um, I try to keep these in really, really good condition. Um, the, honestly, I don't know how nice the leather like actually is because they are from an H&M collaboration, but they're beautiful. I love them. Um, uh, you can see them on my Instagram uh, as well. Now we are moving to just like regular dress shoes that I wear um, on an everyday basis. I don't know why, but I like, I really, really enjoy just putting on a nice dress suit. It makes me feel like a little bit more powerful. Um, I love hard bottoms as well because like you just get that like clanking up the stairs, like it's your parents kind of energy. So these are one of the best deals I've ever gotten. These are Prada, like also like kind of paper boy -y, um, dress shoes, Oxfords don't really know they're not oxfords i don't really know what to call them but they have hard bottoms they have the beautiful prada logo right there um there seem to be just like a three-piece construction so really really rounded toe i didn't really own anything like this before as you can tell on the bottom they are completely stitched all the way around so if i ever wanted to i could get these completely resold um i got these for less than 40 dollars and they were in basically like just tried on condition so really, really nice, super, super supple, soft leather. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know. They just like, I don't know. They're kind of like clown shoes, the way they're rounded, but um, I'll be a clown in Prada, I guess. Moving on, we have another like pretty casual pair. These are really like my beater, like dress shoes, I would say. And these are some new floor shime. Um, I don't even know what to call these. Oh, you can see the shoe trees, but they're just like newish floor shine shoes. Really, really simple. They have a uh, like nice like squared slash like sharp toe. 
Um, they have the it's like Safiano leather, I think that's what you call it, that uh, like crisscross pattern. Um, they're really comfortable, but I don't think these are actually made that well. They literally have like a fake line. Oh God, I hate how dirty my shoes are. They have a fake line around the outside trying to like pretend that they're welted or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's just glue holding these together. But great shoes nonetheless. Um, I mean, mostly because they were cheap and I got them in Marshalls. I honestly don't know if they're great shoes, but they're comfortable. In a very similar vein, these are my brown uh, Cole Haan Oxfords. These are also like pretty new. They have rubber or like some kind of like plasticky sole. Um, they're comfortable, they're fine, but I don't think that these are like very high quality shoes anymore. But yeah, I like the broguing on them. I like the shape of them. So I got these a long, long time ago before I was ever even into fashion because I just needed a dress shoe. And these have been like my go-to for a while. I've actually worn these to the Chicago Opera House. Um, and yeah, they're just, I don't know. I like them. They're, they're, they, they work for some occasions. Next up is my nicest pair of black dress shoes. These are from uh, Neil Barrett. Uh, I got these once again, secondhand, but like barely tried on. Uh, they still actually have like the sticker on the bottom here from The Real Real. Um, I love The Real Real in case you couldn't tell. Uh, they are have just like this beautiful, beautiful shape to them. I love this like stitched detailing on them. Um, as you can see, hard bottom, stitched around, really, really important stuff. They are just, I don't even know. I, I, I don't even know what to say about these. These are just some, some great shoes with really, really nice detailing. They make me feel like I am a robber baron about to like take away rights from some workers. Don't do that though, that's bad. Or like a really, really crappy investment banker that um, like gaslights women. So there's these shoes, Jesus Christ. Last up on my like, oh yeah. Last up on my more dressier shoes are these Marc Jacobs platform brogues. I really, really like these. Also got these on the real, 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 real super cheap. Um, in really good condition, as you can tell, once again, stitching around the outside, really, really important stuff. Super, super thick sole, and they are just these absolutely gorgeous, like chocolate brown color with really, really nice brogue detailing all along everywhere. I honestly, like, I could not, I, I love these shoes. They are in a perfect size as well. They came with like box and dust bag, everything you could want. I don't even know like what joke to make about these shoes. They're just like, really really pretty and I like them although there is some blood on the heels but we won't we won't talk about that so they're comfortable okay now we're going to move on to my high top sneakers so this right here this is a hype beast purchase from high school or actually like early college I would say these are my very very beat up um off-white converse yeah so uh, these are the ones from like the original drop from the 10. Uh, they are like see-through-ish as you can tell like you can yeah, they're see-through um, They're definitely yellowed a lot just because I mean I've worn these a ton I've beat up the bottoms a ton as you can tell but I Used to love these shoes. I used to wear them all the time I really thought I was like the I thought it was like the guy on campus when uh, I wore these around um, Turns out I wasn't but that's okay uh, next up is my only other like high top sneaker I would get I would say they are my Ro Jordan 1 Royals um, Just super super classic colorway. Uh, this is the only pair of Jordans I own the only, probably the only pair of Jordans I will own are ones I just like really 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 like the shape. They're great. I got them in high school I believe for like a really good deal um, Honestly decent leather quality on these I can't I don't remember if these are like 2014 or 2017 release, but I really really like them they're such like just like a classic classic colorway and um design don't even know what to say on that but yeah great great shoes i think everyone should own a pair of jordan ones at some point um yeah now we are moving into sneakers so this is definitely my most worn and also my most beat up sneaker but these are my white common projects um i'm gonna put white in quotation marks somewhere because these are so beat up like literally one second there is a hole in the sole here these need to be like completely redone that's okay though i will figure it out at some point in time um i'm probably just gonna get new ones of these honestly i know they're expensive 
um, and definitely if you can like get a get like a different uh, I've, I've heard that the quality is not like up to par with like the price but um, if you can get yourself a pair of white sneakers that are really really chill because they go with everything I don't even know like these just these just go with ev absolutely everything and as you can tell I wear my shoes thank god and um, yeah that's these so we have like two categories of sneakers left, but it's basically just brands. So we have Adidas sneakers and Nike left. So back when Boost was huge in like 2017 and 18, um, in like 2016, I bought up a ton of Boost shoes. So I think I have one, two, three, four, five pairs of Boost shoes. So that's not really cute, but I got these for $40 on super sale on amazon.com. I think they're like the NMD V2s or something. They're this like new buck. Um, honestly, I don't really wear these that often, but um, they're super, super comfortable. Like boosts may have gone out of fashion, but they definitely will never go like out of comfort. That's, that doesn't even make sense, but super comfortable. Um, really, really just like simple styling. I think these are like a good, they were like a good transition for me to move from wearing sneakers every day to wearing more like nicer, dressier shoes every day. But yeah, love these. Next, we have what were my beater shoes for a long time. I'm not gonna stay on these for a while, but these are like the 9317 EQT supports. They are beat up, really, really beat up, but I wore these like almost every single day, freshman year of college. Um, they've lasted the test of time, but they're they're so bad, they're really beat up. Um, yeah, just a, a, a great shoe for the memories, and uh, I'll probably keep wearing them until they completely break down. Another shoe that I've worn a ton, especially in high school, were these NMDs Originals. Um, these were like just a great pair of shoes when they came out. Everyone was fiending over these, and um, yeah, I've, I've had a pair for a while. As you can tell, I've just like beat the hell out of them, like I do with most of my sneakers. Um, but super classic silhouette, great shoe. Couldn't, couldn't couldn't go wrong here coming up next we have another um, another classic I would say these are my uh, NMD data moshes from like a sneakers and stuff exclusive I love 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 the colorway on these I thought these were so cool and I was like 17 um, I don't wear them that much now uh, one of my friends really really likes these but yeah these are just like the really the really really nice like calm colorway and it's like just like super like digital um i don't even know like just like digital camo i guess uh but yeah a great shoe nonetheless lastly for my adidas shoes we have of course as everyone should a pair of ultra boosts um these used to be white they are not anymore i wore these to the gym i wore these uh, like Oh my god, I've worn these like everywhere. These are just like so, so beat up. Um, no more talking about them there. <laughs> Last section, but certainly not least, are my Nike shoes. So this first one, these are my gems. You can already tell. These are the Tom Sachs Mars Yards. I have um, the padding still in them, actually. I wear these, but I keep them in there just to maintain shape. Just a, this is such a classic silhouette. I do wear them every once in a while. I get outside, I wear them. Um, these have been, you know, I mean, these these have been a huge shoe for so, so long. Um, I don't think these are ever gonna go out of style. Uh, I know the value on these is like crazy right now, but I don't see myself ever selling them. I got them for a good deal when I got them in freshman year of high school, or freshman year, when I got them in freshman year of college, and I think I'm gonna keep them uh, for as long as I can. They're in good condition, they're wearable, and um, yeah, I like them a lot, Mars Yards. Next up, we have my running shoes, but I don't run. Uh, these are like Vaporflies or something from like 2017, 2018. Once again, I like like the pointed design on the bottom. Um, they're super, super comfortable. Like I would wear these like every day. Oh my God. They're super comfortable. I honestly like when I wear these, like you literally feel like like the sole like pushing and like giving you like extra bounce on your step. They're like really great. Um, I keep saying, um, I don't know what else to say about these shoes. I've been talking about shoes for like 35 minutes now. I don't know how much more I can say. These are just a really good pair of running shoes. Nike obviously has always made really good running shoes. Um, and these are like the platform for the shoes that actually like broke the marathon 
the world record or beat like the two hour marathon, something like that. Anyway, cool shoes. I wear them when I run, which is never. Nice. Lastly, maybe least, because I know that these are the cheapest shoes that I own, um, are these Nike, I don't know, shoes. I well, like I think they're like Summit LX or something. They're like part of this like N354 series that they came out with a while ago. Also a little bit of like a beater sneaker, but I got this for $25, including shipping. Maybe less, maybe 24. So, so, so cheap. Um, and they're just like a really simple silhouette. I like the low profile. I like the extra sole detail here. The colors are like easy to go with. It's just like, except for the sole, but ignore that. It's just like black and blue and white. Um, yeah, just like a really, really simple shoe. And that just about wraps it up. That is all of my shoes. I will put detailed information in like the description below about every single one of these shoes in case anyone was interested in like trying to find them. So thank you for tuning in. I know it has been a long, long video. We've gone through so many pairs of shoes. Hopefully I've tried them all on and showed you at least like a little brief clip of all of them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Comment uh, any suggestions you have, like and subscribe. And I mean, really that's it for me. So uh, peace out and um, here, here's, here, Here's, here's the mess that we've created, basically. These are my Mad Max boots. Definitely what I would wear if I was in an apocalypse and needed to... I don't even know. I don't know what you why you need super... Did anyone think that through? Like, why do you need to be so, like, vibey in the apocalypse? I thought the whole thing was just, like, survive. Uh, anyway, this is what I would wear if I was in Mad Max.